Last night, Dallas Cowboys get out to an 18 0 halftime lead. They win the game 31 to 14. And let me just stop everybody from bitching right now. I've told you a million times when you wager on games like this, you're going to lose. The over under on this game was 45 and a half. Uh -huh. Well, how do you get to 31? Hmm. <laughs> well, you missed four extra points. Oh. I'll get to that in a second. Start with Dak Prescott. Dak Prescott, I think, finally has uh, proved all the naysayers that it's time to shut up. That is a road playoff game, something they haven't won in uh, 30 years to the day today. And while the game started off slowly, both teams, three and out, three and out, four, first four possessions took less than five minutes. And it looked like he was going to be a real barn burner. Then the Cowboy offense got going. They got helped out with a penalty. Pollard had a couple nice runs. And then Dak got into a rhythm. Yeah, there's no question. And if Dak plays with that kind of conviction, I mean, you want to talk about putting your foot down and letting it eat. That's what he did. If he plays with that kind of conviction, they're going to be just about impossible to beat, at least offensively. That's how good he was. So that offense, he had conviction. And I love the way they started. When you look at Kellen Moore, their offensive coordinator, the way they started, bubble screens, quick throws. Even though they were incomplete, try to get your quarterback in a rhythm, try to get some confidence early, and, man, I'm telling you what, that guy played a – not a good game, a great game. Yeah, but it didn't start off great. No, uh, no, you know, but, but you know, it was – Three incompletions in a row out right, of the game. Right, the three incompletions, yep. like I said, bubble screens, quick throws, right, try to get him in that rhythm early. It didn't happen. They weren't complete, but he got himself in a rhythm quickly. Got it. Well, listen, here's the, you know, the rub on this is this game played out the way I, I thought it wouldn't set up. It was going to play out for the last two weeks, and that is Tampa's not a very good team. So the Dallas Cowboys did what a good team should do to a bad team in the playoffs, and that's dominate them. And they dominated yeah, them. They did. They On both sides of the ball. Yeah. They, they dominated them on both sides of the ball. And, you know, I mean, the the whole situation, you talked about Tom Brady throwing 66 balls. I, and Which is I'm sorry, crazy, right? Well, it's insane, right? right. You, you cannot win that way. But they sat on – they squatted on routes defensively. They sat down. They brought pressure. And they said, you can't beat us over the top because we're not going to give you the time to beat us over the top. That I mean, that's basically – Well, it was, no, it was no, a, a to be fair, to be fair. To be fair, okay. sir, kind sir, to be yes. fair, okay. the Tampa Bay Buccaneers also decided at some part of this game, you know, to wave the white flag. Yeah. Because on the C.D. Lamb touchdown, nobody guarded him. Like, I weave the video. Right. Explain, since you're the football expert here. Okay. I've, I want you to walk us in the audience. I will explain you what happened. All right, walk me through okay. how you let their – best wide receiver run down the field okay. and nobody guards him. Okay, you guys have that video? Uh, C.D. Lamb's touchdown catch. Right. He is unguarded. Right, yeah. I Like, no joke. And, and, you know, we say this a lot, you know, doing what we do for a living. And you guys sitting at home, I could have made that pass. I could have made that catch. Which just proves to me, again, that I could have been an NFL player. Right. That's of a side course. story well, for another day. There's nobody within 15 yards Carl, of their best wide receiver. But, so this is a, up close. But if you went to the, the coach's tape, Carl Davis is basically saying zero, zero, zero to the outside corner, basically saying, let's switch he this up. He wants him to sort him? <laughs> no, zero <laughs> it means let's you zone. You can't take a sword on no, the field. I'm zero is sure. just the term. Yeah. It means let's zone this off. Oh, So I'm what sorry. he is saying is I'm inside. Because I would I'm be weird for it. I'm going to get picks. So I've got to yeah. flow over the top. You take him from the outside. You take the outside release I'll take your inside release it's a switch and the inside or the outside corner the guy that was on pressed on the line of scrimmage yeah basically ignored it and so Carlton Davis got caught and that's why it's wide open it's a miscommunication a busted coverage as they say that said like the Dallas CD Cowboys CD, that's CD Lamb right yeah CD Lamb he has thousand yards this year <laughs> he's the only guy you're really worried about to go out in a pass pattern right yeah, you so, should, it, so you, you Dale's should. sword, does the guy come out with a yeah. black you, eye mask yeah. and a sword? <laughs> yes, exactly. It's exactly what it is. It's like cosplay. 
And so what you do is you're out there in your cosplay, yeah. and, and they did somebody, they yeah, all right. somebody they did didn't something. show up to the party. Yes. And, yeah, and it was the Tampa Bay defense. Yeah, you know, they, they do say cosplay is more fun than Cosby play, but that's another story for another day. Oh. So 18 nothing. All right, the Dallas Cowboys start dominating yeah. the game. Sure. Tom Brady throws uh, 66 passes uh, through a bad interception in the end zone right after the announcer said he's never thrown right. an interception in the end zone Almost in a perfect. playoff game, right? It looked like he was trying to throw the ball away. But he also missed receivers early on the first couple of possessions, sure. throwing the ball high. Look, Tom Brady wasn't right. When you see the Tom Brady like that, it makes me say as a Jet fan, I don't want that guy. Right. But I also recognize that. Give him an offensive line. Give him right. a running game. Mm-hmm. Give him a better defense. Don't ask him to throw the ball 66 well, times, they, they, and you'll get right. a better they, top yeah, rate. They have it. They're, they don't have a good defense. They're, like they have a re, they have a great defense from a, from the standpoint of a personnel. You talk about their personnel. Their personnel is phenomenal, and they went with uh, you know they went with the the global gym strategy. We're better than you, and we know it. And so they just pressed you. They disrupted routes. They disrupted timing. And then they let their guys eat. They let Micah Parsons go. They let Lawrence sure. go. They let Odigizuwa. I just wanted to say his name, Odigizuwa, go. That's a great name, it by is. the way. It's not even a good name. Odigizuwa. Is that his first name? It, no, that's his last bolt, name. Yeah. Oh, I mean, sure. do we know his first name? <laughs> I don't care what his first name I don't even call him by his first name. <laughs> Odigizu, what do we talk about? Mighty, mighty player. Mighty, mighty player. I'm on board with I have this. no idea what yeah. we're doing. That was, was an old high school wrestling chant. I do know this. Yeah. Uh, it got ugly for Tampa Bay very quickly. And then comes, of course, the side story of this game. And that is a guy many of you never heard of before named Brett Meyer. <laughs> Brett Meyer is the uh-huh. kicker, or for the time being, he's the kicker, right. of the Dallas Cowboys. So the Dallas Cowboys score their first touchdown of the game. Everybody is excited. All right, 6 nothing. Let's go kick the extra point. Here's the first extra point. See what happened. Ooh, okay. Hey, it Whoops. happens. Happens. It happens. Right. It happens. Justin Tucker's missed kicks before, right? I mean, so right. he pushes it wide right. Uh-huh. Not that big a deal. He missed the net. Six nothing. Okay, no way. Uh, he was given a super new ball. Okay. Cowboys uh, come down go, again, guys. and yeah. they score another touchdown. Now it's twelve nothing. Now you have a choice: Do you chase points? Do you go for two? Right. Or do you mm-hmm. say, No, no, we're not going to do that yet. Let's just kick the extra point. Let's go up thirteen nothing. Take a deep breath. We're in a good spot. We're up by two scores. Here is the second extra point attempt from Mr. Maher. Go ahead, guys. And oh, I got the net, though. He got the net. He got the net. That was much closer. So (laughs) he misses another one. All right, listen, not a problem. Not a problem. All right. 12 0. We're still feeling good and Mm -hmm. confident because they can't stop our offense, right? Right Right before half. Let's score another touchdown. Now we're up 18 0. So you're up by more than two scores. Right. So. Field goal kicker Brett Maher comes on for the extra point. Mm-hmm. Correct. He missed the first one to the right. Mm-hmm. He missed the second one to the right. Mm-hmm. If you have ever played golf in your life, because uh-huh. it's the only relatable comparison, because other than me, you guys have never you know, kicked uh, field goals on an NFL field. Fact. Uh, Maher mm-hmm. gets up there and he's like, all right, I missed to the right. I missed to the right. I'm going to overcompensate. Sure. I'm going to kick it. A little bit more to the left. Yeah, Love it. Snap hook. Here's a uh, snap hook. Game? Kick number three. Okay, Game of adjustment. Check this one out. Let's see it. And oh boy. Overcorrection. Overcorrection. Oh no, he didn't. Yeah, he missed the net again. Yeah, he missed the net to, to, to the left. Not two only more. to the left. Three extra points. Two of them yeah, missed, missed the net. Nets. So now it's 18 nothing. It's not uh 21 nothing. Uh-huh. Right. All right. And that's the score at halftime. I can't believe I'm saying this. <laughs> but we go to the second half. All right, you figure out 18 out there. Everyone's feeling pretty good. Right. The Dallas Cowboys score another touchdown. So now it's 24 nothing. This poor son of a bitch. Comes. <laughs> <laughs> this guy comes out for his fourth extra point attempt. And I'll just show it, guys. Go ahead. He's got it like this. <laughs> Oh, dude. Oh, oh, no. He hit the pole, though. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> he, hit the, he hit the post. He did hit the post. I mean, that's yeah. staggering so, improvement. Right. So it was closer. Yes. He made, he made progress for sure. So four touchdowns, mm-hmm. four extra points. Wow. He missed them all. All right. Then there's video on the sideline of Dak Prescott not being a good teammate. 
not being a, hey, it'll be all right, kid. We'll get him next time. <laughs> right. Do you guys have the video of Dak Prescott? <laughs> we do not. All right. I asked for it three hours ago. Not a problem. It's not. We'll, no. get it. we'll get it for tomorrow's show, though, for sure. Perfect. Dak Prescott's like, and he used some expletives, let's effing go for two. Right. On the sideline, sure. Sure. he's livid. And let's be honest, that's not the time to be a good teammate. I'd be pissed also. Yeah, everybody's pissed at the kicker. Yeah. But now, I mean, now, listen, if he makes, like, if he makes it, right, if they don't have a big kicking tryout and he doesn't no, he, get released, yeah, okay, right. so if it, then, then it becomes, all right, how do we bust his stones a little bit? You have to have fun with it now, right? Right, exactly. Yeah. So I would probably bring a, pe- a couple pieces of, like, uh, kings for charcoal. Go ahead. In, mm-hmm. in, in put his locker and say, can you put this in your ass and make me some diamonds? My <laughs> wife, is, our anniversary is <laughs> wow. coming up soon. Like, I'm not trying to get the I'm reference, a, but okay. I'm a, I'm a, no, I mean, yeah, pressure. Like pressure. Oh, it's the pressure. pressure. Yeah. I'm sorry. I totally, yeah. whoop. Right yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Okay. Man. Yeah. Now he wasn't I just suggesting it. for fun. Right. right. No, no, I wasn't like yeah. it. Okay, now I get it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Hey there, thank you so much for watching The Carton Show. You can subscribe right here to get all the latest bits and segments from the show. And by the way, while you're at it, we have a lot of great shows on FS1, so check them out too.